over 1.1 million reached. Yep, that's how many hearts we've won. The North Georgia Sports League. Dawson County secured a postseason berth on Friday night, finishing the sweep of Fanning County. In game one, they won 11-2 behind Connor Bearden's complete game. Dawson had to pull out the drama for game two, rallying to win 14-13. Down 13-12, Bearden, who picked up that game one victory, opened the six with a hit and would eventually score after Dawson played some small ball to load the bases for Colton Brumbelow's long ball RBI. Clint Garrett would score the eventual winning run and set up the save opportunity for Tucker Maxwell. Here's Dawson County coach Dwayne South. You know, tonight I'm pretty sure I think we secured at least a playoff spot. So from what I can tell, we're in. Now it's just to try to maintain your seating purposes, you know, and, uh, you know, try to keep that second spot. And that's where we want to stay, hopefully, so we can get some home games. Well, what's key uh, for Dawson County going into next week? Well, uh, you know, getting back, first of all, we got to get healthy. We've got some arms and we've got some people with some little nagging injuries and we can get them healthy. Uh, I think we'll be okay. You know, hopefully we can keep swinging the bats like we are and, and uh, we'll hang in there and secure the spot. Sophomore Palmer Sapp also had a big night with three home runs, one of them a grand slam. Here's Palmer along with Bryce Henson and Brody Chester. Uh, well, right now every win counts because um, if we, we went out, we're the two seed. And two seats a home playoff game, and home playoff game is a big advantage for us. And we can, we really believe that we can, we can make a run, and we can, we can do some big things. And I feel like if we can, we can put everything together, it's going to be a good year. We had a grand slam and uh, two, uh, two extra home runs on top of the grand slam. Uh, talk about your, uh, your approach to the plate. How you seeing the ball tonight? I uh, just went up there with no, just hit it hard, hit it hard, and if it goes, if, wherever it goes, wherever it goes. It was just, it's a big win. It's, it's two big wins, to be honest with you, to get us in and give us an opportunity to shot at playoffs. Well, you hit a long ball tonight. Talk about how that felt. It felt good, considering I hadn't hit nothing all night besides that. So it, it felt good coming off the bat, and it felt good getting energy back up in the dugout. we got a great team this year. A lot of the players, we all bonded at first, and the success of the team. It really, Coach Sapp started us out early made us work as hard as we could on the field, no matter how cold it was. Didn't matter, we were on the field. So we'll thank Coach Sapp for that, and we got a great team this year. Well, y'all hit a, a skid there, lost a few games there, but uh, uh, Dawson County's bouncing back. Talk about what's been the key to bounce back and the momentum this has given you. Honestly, we just had to get those losses out of our head, and we had to start fresh, start everything new, hit the, hit the cages more. Dawson County will close out the regular season with a Tuesday matchup at Lumpkin County and a Friday doubleheader at Dawson County. You can listen to all games on the North Georgia Sports Link. the real award-winning sports crew yep five times in a row known as the tim and bo show only here the north georgia sports link 